Always a treat. And this is an interesting matchup, just by its nature. First of all, item play for both characters, which means that we could see some really funny stuff if they catch each other's projectiles. Both players are obviously used to just using items. But uh, Rob is a very comboable character, and Peach is one of the best characters in the game at comboing. So it's gonna... <laughs> and also about movement. Like, this is something that... Like, Peach has movement options that no other character does, and especially on the micro-spacing level. And if you're able to use that to, like, outspace Dill's forward airs, which is one of his best, like, it's like, I hop, I forward air, I poke you, you get hit, and if not, I am safe. Oh, Mr. Saturn's in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really smart from Dill. Oh, we extended the hitbox with the Saturn? Oh, man. I'm betting that, uh... Just get it out of here. He's clearly been using it more than you have. Oh, why are you holding shield at all? Okay. A little alien friend wasn't able to stick around. But uh, neither was Apollo. Really meaty back air right there. Great placement from uh, Dill. He's looking pretty good right now, only 105% on his body. And Peach, in general, these days, struggles to kill a lot more. Uh, she doesn't really have that back throw anymore. And although forward air is still really strong, really can kill, uh, linking into it, especially around these percents, is kind of tricky. Oh, great job. This is, uh, you can't just float freely. Because you can't air dodge, uh, when you're floating, that means that he can just throw out that huge beam which covers so much space. It isn't necessarily the type of thing that does huge amounts of damage, but nonetheless, it really should discourage you. Oh, Speaking of discouraging, that's discouraging if you're Apollo. Dill has such a solid lead right now. I don't even think he took maybe, what, 5% that stock? He still, he was in the hundreds when that stuff began, and I don't think he was even touched. Dill's doing a fantastic job of challenging those uh, float heights, especially like the fact that he can angle his uh, his laser in that way is helping him out hugely. Finally gets that forward air, but it's still not enough. Rob is a thick, meaty, chunky boy. Down tilt is so quick. And you see he's using it actually really dies. It's so cool how Dill finds a doesn't this, he like finds a move that works and then he'll use it. And then as soon as he detects that it's no longer working on the opponent, he just chooses something different. You know, and Rob has different options like that to the point where he can sort of make that thing. Wow! He stalled out there for so long, Apollo looking for that side B, but he's just like, oh, I've got a side B of my own. Eat this whirlwind of emotions. That's what Rob's side view is. So some serious adjustments need to come out from Apollo if he wants to keep himself alive in this. Music choice is a good start. <laughs> you want to make sure you have the, the jams that you can uh, rock out to. But, oh, did we hear the count? Oh, did he go Bayonetta? Okay, all right. Now, I will say that it felt like Dill was playing around what are normally Peach's strengths very well. Intercepting float, just not really getting killed at all in addition to that. So the Bayo counter pick, I actually kind of like it, but we'll see how it works out. In terms of pure tierless placement, definitely Bayo is lower than Peach. Uh, but the character can still do a lot. She might not be the same as, you know, back when she was the Harbinger of Doom. But nonetheless, the character can do some really interesting things. Oh, up to up air. Ah, bat within. Fast enough to get him out of that awful situation. And now he gets the combo started himself. This is where I think that the bulk of the matchup is going to be decided, is whether those huge combos that Bayo can pull off, especially against a bigger character like Rob, is actually going to... Harry Apollo to victory here. Oh, or will be carried to the blast zone by that laser. Such a good snipe from Dill. And he's actually, oh, 
doing all right right now. And although that start wasn't so bad for Apollo, I'm reminded of the last time where... Uh, is that a, it's not enough. Dang. Okay, another take at this. Forwarder that time around should... Ah, uh, didn't go for it, though. Ah, dang. Such good gyro placement and awareness. And with that now, this is 100% pretty much dealt out onto Apollo. And just dealing with Dill when he has a stock lead is maybe one of the worst feelings ever. Did he just get multi-hit by up tilt? Is that what happened? Neat, I guess. Forward throw is still not enough at 180%. This is one of those things that a lot of Bayonetta has complained about the character now. She just cannot kill. Finding a way to end your opponent's stock just seems so hard to do. But right there, which timing the gyro? That little top really backfiring on Dill. As, oh, I think this probably is it. I think that's, okay, great mash. And he manages to get an air dodge out, keeping him alive from that up air. And that means that now we have a rage bayonet, a possibly huge damage, maybe even a stock to finish it off with. Oh, he keeps going for, I guess, some type of mix up. Hoping for a panic option, but even with some fantastic DI on that up air, uh, Apollo not really able to survive. Good job from Apollo getting out of that ledge trapping situation. Now he is sort of, at least in the advantage state driver's seat. I, oh, okay. Feels like Dill is not ready for the pressure and to find the... Yeah, he keeps choosing his openings poorly. Great job from Apollo realizing that and baiting fantastically. Wow, the down tilt trip, the forward smash working out for Dill right there. Here's another big combo, but these combos need to end in stocks because 157%. And last time we saw him live for another 30. Oh, and 100% already dealt onto Apollo. This kit pick has so far been working out much better for him, but better than a three stock is not so great. Oh, he bat within, manages to get around it, tries to put on some pressure. I think he's, oh, he holds on to the, the air dodge in the end. It helps him get back, but he's taken 144%, and Dill is looking pretty healthy with an entire another stock to fall back on. Another two side Bs, but he has to find some way to actually end it. Back here, after all of that, finally. But now he's done. <laughs> Just immediately comes down from the platform, ends everything. Dill going to be moving on in the winner's bracket, where I think he's now in quarters? Five, semis? I think he's in semis, semis now. Yeah. Oh, and so the next match that we're getting is actually one that I've been personally looking forward to all night, that being uh, DeBuzz versus John Numbers. And this